is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here welcome so for today's video I partnered with Halara to do a Halara haul and review for you if you are not familiar with Halara Halara is an activewear brand they offer a lot of affordable activewear and I'm pretty sure they're most known for their dresses and skirts personally the first time I heard of Halara was because of one of their dresses their little like active wear dresses that just like blew up on social media. I'm pretty sure I saw it on TikTok first, but then I started seeing it on Instagram and YouTube. So that is a super, super popular dress. Um, and now they have tons of dresses and skirts. So that is primarily what we're going to be reviewing today, but I also have some tops to review as well. So as always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. I also did want to let you know that Halara did give me a discount code to share with you that gets you 20% off of your purchase. So I will put that in the description box down below as well. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. So the first top I have on right now, this is called the In My Feels top, and I'm wearing this in a size small. So as you can see, this is a crop top with a very, very cute little crisscross strappy back. You guys know I'm a sucker for strappy back anything. I just, I think it's so cute. Um, I actually saw my friend wearing this the other day and I was like, where did you get that? And she was like, Halara. And I was like, well, I will definitely be ordering that. This has a built-in shelf bra with removable cup pads, and it definitely provides a decent amount of support as well. I would say it's medium support, and it's just made from a kind of like regular, um, stretchy, cottony fabric. I actually just wore this to a soccer game, and I actually got quite a few compliments on it. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be something that I wear a lot. I just wore it casually with a pair of like jean shorts, um, but yeah, I would wear this with leggings, I'd wear this with a skirt, shorts, jeans, um, so very versatile. And I also love how there's no branding on it. At least I haven't seen any branding. There's no like logo or anything. So I always feel like when there's no logo on something, you can kind of get away with like wearing it with different stuff and people don't necessarily know like that it's activewear, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely like this top and I believe it comes in a couple different colors. Up next, I got the everyday two-in-one tennis skirt and I got this in a size small. So this skirt is high rise um, and it does have a like top seam and a band at the top, but the seam is flat and the band is like this thick. Um, so it lays flat and it doesn't dig in. Um, usually I don't like top seams on the top of legging shorts, skirts, literally I just don't like top seams. But this one, the seam and the band don't dig in, so I'm okay with it. And as you can see, the entire skirt is pleated and it has um, little built-in shorts underneath it that have pockets on both sides. And this is made from a slick, stretchy performance material. This is definitely a short skirt, but because it has the um, shorts underneath, I'm okay with that. And it's like just long enough that like my, that you can't like see the shorts underneath it in the back. So personally, I'm not a tennis player or a golfer. Um, I would love to get into both if anyone wants to teach me how to play. I've, I've played both before, but never like seriously. But now if I ever do want to play, I'm about to have a great wardrobe for it because I got so many skirts and dresses that would be perfect for it. Personally, I just like wearing stuff like this around. Um, like this is so stretchy and comfy. Like I would just go run errands in this. Like I'm about to go grocery shopping after this. So I'll probably wear one of these little outfits to the grocery store. Um, yeah, just good for like casual wear. Up next, I got the low support twisted backless crop tank and I got this in a size small. So this crop tank is very similar to the last one. It's made from the same um, stretchy cottony material. It also has a built-in shelf bra with removable cup pads. Um, and I love the twist back detail back there. I'm not sure why they called this low support because to me, this is like pretty freaking supportive. Like, like this is actually like medium 
maybe even medium to high support for me. I absolutely love little crop tank tops, especially ones with um, built-in shelf bras, um, especially in the summertime. Um, but honestly, I wear them kind of like year round. Like in the winter, I'll wear this with like sweatpants and like a jacket over it. Um, I just live in little crop tank tops like this. And I really like how the last one, the straps on the last one weren't like, thick but they weren't like too thin um but these ones these straps are like pretty um wide which i really like because i say this in so many videos but i feel like when i wear things with really skinny straps they dig in to my traps or my shoulders like if i wear them for a while so i like having things with wider straps just because they're just more comfortable to wear for longer periods of time um but yeah also really really like this tank top and i believe it comes in other colors up next i got this crossover waist skirt and I got this in a size small. So this skirt is very similar to the last one. I believe it's made from the same fabric. It feels like that slick, um, stretchy performance material. It also has the same um, shorts underneath with pockets on both sides. It's pretty much the same length um, as the other one and has pleats all the way around. I feel like the only like real difference is this one has that super popular crossover waistband. Um, and it's interesting, the front of it has a seamless waistband, but the back of it has just a tiny seam back here, but the seam is flat. Um, so I'm not mad at the seam because it doesn't dig in to my waist at all. So. A very similar option, very cute, um, just a crossover waistband on this one. Up next, I got this double strap twisted crop tank and I got this in a size small. So this one is made from either the same or very similar um, stretchy cottony material as the last two crop tanks. This one also has removable cut pads in it. And as you can see, it is a like double strap back here that goes into this twist detail, super low scoop bag, very minimalist bag. I think that is so cute back there. Um, this one is definitely a little bit lower support than the first two. I would say this is like low, maybe low to medium support um, because it does have the built-in shelf bra. Um, so it isn't like super low support, but it's definitely just not as supportive as the other two, probably because it has thinner straps and it all together just feels a little bit looser and stretchier, not like super loose, um, but definitely looser than the last two. But I do like that even though they are thin straps here, they put two of them on there, which just makes it just a little bit more supportive. And the straps also like aren't too tight. So that should help avoid the kind of like digging in that I was talking about. Um, but yeah, all three of these tops, so cute. I just, I love a minimalist back and I love a strap back. So I really, really like these tops. Up next, I got the everyday crossover skirt and I got this in a size small. So this skirt is made from the same um, slick, stretchy performance material as the last two. It also has built-in shorts with um, pockets on both sides, just like the last two. Um, and it has a crossover waistband like the last one. However, the crossover waistband on this one is seamless all the way around, which is great. And then this one isn't pleated on the front. Um, it is a little like pleated on the back, but this one has kind of like two um, separate like panels or layers and the back part is pleated um, but the front part is flat which I feel like is cute and a little different um, so yeah I really really like this one honestly all three skirts are pretty similar just like very slight um, differences between them so moving right along to dresses I got this cut out twisted ballet dress in a size small So this dress, again, it feels like the exact same um, slick, stretchy, moisture wicking material as the skirts that I just showed you. This one also has a built-in um, romper underneath it, 
with pockets on both sides, just like the shorts under the skirt. And then this has removable cup pads as well. Um, I think the back is super cute. You guys know I love the twist detail and the open back. And then it has like a hook closure back here. Um, and then it kind of comes in at your waist and then flares out a little bit. Why they call it the ballerina dress because I feel like ballerina silhouettes like comes in here and then goes out at the side. Personally, I do like a little more like a dress kind of more like this. That's kind of like more straight down. I don't want to call it necessarily bodycon. It doesn't have to be super tight, um, but I am more drawn to this silhouette, but still a very cute dress. And I would say this provides like medium support. Up next, we have the everyday activity dress and I'm wearing this in a size small. So this dress is made from a different material from the other pieces. Um, this is made definitely from a stretchy material, but it's more of a softer fabric as opposed to the like slick performance fabric of the last ones. Um, this one also has a built-in romper with pockets on both sides, just like the last ones. This one also has removable cup pads and then it has crisscross straps back here. This one, because the straps are um, thinner, definitely is more of a light support option in my opinion, um, but I really like the silhouette of this one. Um, more than the silhouette of the um, like ballerina style one. I feel like this one is just like a little bit more, I don't know, it just, I like it more. <laughs> but this one, of course, because the straps are thinner, it does have the potential to dig in over time. The straps aren't super, super tight. Like they're not like too stretchy, but they're not too tight. But between this one and the last dress, I feel like I am just more drawn to the silhouette of this one. I also really, really like the color. They have so many different colors on the site. I could be wrong, but I think this might be the dress that they got like super famous off of. I could be wrong, because there's so many different dresses. Um, it might not be this one, but I feel like this is the one that they kind of like blew up for making, and it makes sense because it fits great and it's super cute. Up next, we have this double strap twisted back dress, and I'm wearing this in a size small. So this dress is made from what feels to be the same um, soft stretchy material as the green dress that I just showed you. And I've determined based off of the names, the names are super long, so I'm not saying like the whole name for each piece. Um, but I believe this fabric is called the Cloudful fabric, the like super soft stretchy fabric. And then the more performance material, still stretchy, but performance material, um, fabric that the first couple skirts in the first dress were made from. Um, that is called the Cloudful Air fabric. From what I'm gathering, those are the different names for those two fabrics. Um, but anyway, this one has a built-in shelf bra with removable cut pads and the double straps here with the little twist back. So basically this is like that gray um, twist crop top that I showed you. This is like the dress version of that crop top. Um, a little different though, this one doesn't have a built-in bodysuit, but it comes with um, shorts that you can pair underneath it. So if you're not someone uh, that likes a romper underneath of dresses, these ones have shorts to wear underneath them um, instead, which is nice for like when you go to the bathroom, you don't have to take your entire dress off, you just have shorts. And these shorts have pockets on both sides. They don't have a front seam, which is nice, but they do have a top seam that's pretty bulky. Um, so the shorts aren't my favorite. And then this one, I feel like kind of pulls just a little funny. There's like a little bit of like, extra fabric. Um, so I would say with this one, if you're in between sizes, maybe size down. Um, but between those three dresses that I just tried on, I think I do like the green one the most, which I'm pretty sure is their most popular dress. So that makes sense. The last piece that I have for you is called the everyday midi dress. And I'm wearing this in a size small. So this dress is definitely more of a lifestyle piece. It is not 
active wear. It's not something that I would ever wear to work out in. Um, but I love me a midi dress. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I gotta have it. It's made from a stretchy ribbed material and it has a slit up the side, which is literally my perfect type of midi dress because it's just comfortable. You don't have to worry about your booty popping out of the back, but it still makes the booty look good. Um, there's room for movement. You can like dance in it. And then this one doesn't have any um, padding, but it is double lined here. And of course it has my favorite detail. It has a little like strappy back back here and it is adjustable. So you can tighten the straps and you just tie them back here. Um, so yeah, not a active wear piece, but I mean a black midi dress. You just can't go wrong with a dress like this. Like you can wear it with sneakers to dress it down and wear it with sandals, but you can also dress it up with a pair of heels and like accessorize and stuff. I just, I love a midi dress, so I had to get this and I really, really like it. So that is it for my Halara haul and review. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I honestly am like quite impressed with everything. Like everything fit pretty well and I like really don't have any big like complaints or feedback. So I'm pretty <laughs> impressed with Halara. Um, again, my Halara discount code is in the description box down below along with the links to everything. Um, and that is it. Thank you again for watching and I will catch you next time guys. Bye.